Yeah. Got a new show for y'all. We got a damn good show, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But for a start show, remember, everybody, you can always support the twins by going to our website and buying a patriotic item <laughs> to uh, support. A patriotic what? A patriotic item, man. Speak clearly for the people. I said patriotic item. You said patriotic item. <laughs> but you crazy as hell. <laughs> Type in discount code Delta. We give you twenty percent off your purchase. Yeah, yeah. Is that clear uh, enough for you? Yeah. Hey, I always wondered before I got into politics. I always wondered how like communist countries came to be. You know, like China, how they treat the citizens like crap. Well, there's a bunch of dumb people to live there. That's why. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you I know, know dumb that. people they get taken advantage of. Yeah, dumb people that vote for, for that vote for just crazy people. Yeah. The crazy people tell you something you want to hear, you vote for them, and then they, ah-ha, got you right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these, these, these people in California, New York, they will actually go to the voting booth and vote away all their rights. <laughs> they actually they'll, go and vote they actually, their, their rights away. They'll actually protest to take their rights away. That's yeah, how, that's but, how stupid these people are. Yeah, and that's why you see these uh, communist countries but like the reason why i bring that up is like what's going on in canada yeah i mean i'll just show you the video Place your hands behind your back away from your back no back, what the hell did he just say <laughs> hey can you pause that for a second <laughs> he said man Bring. did you hear that fool <laughs> put your hands behind your back away from your back <laughs> What do you want him to do this? <laughs> you want him to fly? You want him to fly? <laughs> Put your hands behind your back, away from your back. I've never I've heard. Ne I've, I've never heard a, a police officer say something so uh, stupid. You, they just say either put your hands behind your back or put yeah. them on your head or something. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. What's this? Put your hands behind your back and away from your back. <laughs> you know when people get arrested, they're nervous. Yeah. They might do something stupid that, that you know, they, they don't feel, they feel uneasy. The, you come in there saying, put your hands behind your back away from your back? <laughs> yeah, the, your order should be, like, real simple. Yes. I never understood that about cops when they like, okay, now take one step back. Now stop. <laughs> now turn to the right. Slowly. <laughs> now turn back around. <laughs> now take another step back with your left foot. I said your left foot. <laughs> I never, I never, I never understood that. But anyway, put the, uh, put the video back up. And then when he said all that shit, they got guns drawn. <laughs> and they're just like, okay, okay. please, please don't shoot me. <laughs> I, no, not to be funny, I seen a dude. No, I ain't going to get to that. No, no, I know, I know exactly what event you was talking about. That was in Atlanta, right? Yeah, I don't know was... where, but that cop deserved to be in jail. And this, this wasn't even involving black people. It was a white dude, and he shot yeah, him. No. But anyway, I ain't going to. Anyway, let's go back to this, uh. This buffoon trying to arrest a pastor. <laughs> this buffoon arresting a pastor for not following COVID guidelines. He's got a mask on and he's got latex gloves. <laughs> he's outside, everybody. Yeah, go go back to the video, man. Oh, man, you people you crazy as hell. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Idiot. <laughs> All right. Look at him. Can't even get his damn cuss out. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> that cop, let me say this. That cop is such a moron. He, when he got down on his knees and the guy's got his hands behind his... Uh, Behind him, he's in a compromised position. You can handcuff him. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. The cop just gives us, you know, you're not following my direction. Just forget it. <laughs> and then somebody said, I'm coming. Just handcuff him. <laughs> the cop's okay. <laughs> hey, man, if you was a police officer here in the United States, you wouldn't last two days. Yeah, them black people would eat you alive. <laughs> black lives might have so much fun with you, boy. Yeah, man, you can't even arrest a pastor. Right? <laughs> hey, man, but. This dude's arresting a pastor for not following the COVID guidelines involved right. in his church. He wasn't practicing. He, he, was, he wasn't following the COVID mandates. Well, yeah, he wasn't following COVID mandates. He was arrested. He was in contempt of court. Of yeah. court. So whatever the hell that means, that could mean anything in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like y'all arresting pastors. Yeah. 
for not following. So it's no such thing as separation of state and religious freedoms in Canada. Which no is, shit, it's Canada. They ain't America. Yeah, man, you guys up there, you people up there, y'all a bunch of idiots, man. Y'all let y'all's government do that to y'all's pastors, y'all, the religion, your faith. I mean, y'all just, eh, well, we'd expect y'all I Canadians. mean, it's crazy y'all doing this, this at a time when, yeah. Yeah, over over the weekend, these football games, I think it's like 50, 60, 70, 80,000 people right. packed into a stadium. And there's more cases now than it was, you know, when yeah, he was and it's, in it's like y'all resting them. It's like y'all, 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 y'all stupid. Now, uh, I think his his name was uh, Pulowski. What it was? I'm not sure. I'm not. He's been doing a tour. He's been out here in the United States. I pulled up this article. They've actually, you know, they labeled him the MAGA pastor. Yeah. So that should speak volumes. When you see a headline, Canadian MAGA pastor arrested as he returns <laughs> home. I mean, it when they do things like, and I've seen other articles. He was here in the United States. He's been on news, Fox, and stuff like that. He even hung out with um, Eric Trump, I think. Yeah, that's what digs you in. You can't be hanging around them Trumps. <laughs> you going to jail. <laughs> I mean, just, just being involved with them. Yeah, you already, just, you're conservative. They can, they title you a MAGA supporter. Yeah. I think this is more about, I don't know, I'm just speculating, but you are a Trump supporter. You are, yeah. You support the, you know, Trump's family. You visited them. You hung out with them. I think it says it's more retaliation towards yeah. you because of that. Yeah, that's what I. Think. I mean, like y'all, like Trudeau, y'all, y'all need to make this right. You can't. Yeah, I think he's already out of jail. I think he's gonna get like ten days or something. I, I'm, I don't For know. him just... even to be arrested or pay a fine or anything, it's just totally just insane. Yeah, they labeled him a MAGA pastor. What is that? <laughs> what the hell is a is MAGA? Is he just in church preaching about Trump twenty four seven? Yeah, is it Trump's Bible? <laughs> The Madam. Ten Commandments to be to make America great again. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just dumb. Yeah, and, and you read countless articles about this man. They label him as far right leaning white extremist. There's no, there's no such thing as being on the right. You're yeah. just far right. Yeah, like yeah. we're like. The face of white supremacy, actually. Yeah. Did y'all know that? If you're just conservative or you're Republican, you're con automatically considered extremism far right. Yeah. There, there's no right. You're just extreme. You just far. Ex you just extreme. You just damn Nazi. Yeah. Now, now, like y'all see how nuts it is up in Canada. Let me show yeah. you this nut that's in New York. <laughs> Check this nut out. <laughs> She's the governor, the new governor. I prayed a lot to God during this time, and you know what? God did answer our prayers. He did. He made the smartest men and women, the scientists, the doctors, the researchers. He made them Amen. come up with a vaccine. Amen. That what? is from God to us. And we must say thank you, God. Thank you. And I wear my vaccinated necklace all the time to say I'm vaccinated. All of you. Yes, I know you're vaccinated. You're the smart ones. But you know there's people out what? there who aren't listening to God and what God wants. You know this. You know who they are. Other. Jesus taught us to love one another. And how do you show that love but to care about each other enough to say, please get vaccinated because I love you. I want you to live. I want our kids to be safe when they're in schools. I want you to be safe when you go to a doctor's office or to a hospital and are treated by somebody. You don't want to get the virus from them. You're already sick or you wouldn't be there. We have to solve this, my friends. Crazy thing. I need every one of you. Nuts. I need you to let them know that this is how we can... Get, fight, fight this pandemic, come back to normal, and then start talking about the real Nuts. issues that we have to do. <laughs> Fighting systemic racial injustice, which exists what? today, and if How there's a dot denier, I will take you on any date, because I've seen it, I know it exists, and we are not going to have a blind eye to this ever again, any longer under my... Man, shut the hell I up. I prayed a lot to God. Shut up! Shut shut that damn... That crazy-ass woman! No, that was, I'll, I'll that take was, it further. I'll take it further. Shut that... <laughs> y'all should have y'all should have kept Cuomo. Nah, well, I, mean, I can't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. Yeah, yeah, I mean, y'all right. may as well keep the Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> did you, lady? Did you say God made the vaccine? She also said uh, calling people who took the vaccine the smart ones. Yeah. You're treating your own citizens of your own state like second class citizens. Yeah, and then she speaks about how um, the Bible says to love each other. And then you just like you're just like you're like a big hypocrite. You don't even realize it. Yeah.
So if I, mean, I love I'm like, you, I'm like speechless. I don't know what to say. <laughs> How you was going in circles like that is like you was like a you like a snake eating its own tail, just swallowing yourself <laughs> right there on stage. Yeah, that's crazy, man. The smart ones, God. So the people who got the vaccine that actually died from the vaccine, mm-hmm. what did God say about that? Oops, uh, made a mistake. Uh, they're not there. So they they were being the smart ones. <laughs> How about the people with the blood clots? I don't know if God would actually make a shot and people would die from it. People would get blood clots. People would start to have severe adverse reactions. I saw a guy in one town, it, he took the shot and his legs turned into carrots. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like you could make a good a good pot of uh, beef stew. <laughs> You take it. You need to go and appetite them legs. I'm gonna tell you right now. They, they turn that man's legs into carrots. <laughs> it looked like beets. It made his legs like sweet, but they like some yams, man. Yeah, man. It's like God ain't gonna put. She God, said, okay. "You saying God made the vaccine?" Hey, let me do some talking. She crazy as hell for saying. She act like God lives like God's her neighbor or something. You know what? We used to have Bible studies with my mama. You what my mama would have called an antichrist. Yeah, mama would have cussed you out, too. I mean, you saying you should, like, the Bible teaches you to love each other, support each other. Like, the correct thing to do for you in Mm -hmm. that church was to get up there and say, pray for the people who decide not to get the vaccine. Yeah. Oh. Wish, wish that everything works out for them like you think it's going to work out for everybody that's vaccinated. Because yeah. people have been vaccinated. Yeah. I, Still die. I just hate to hear people use religion, use God to fit their narrative. God has nothing to do with that vaccine about COVID-19. Yeah. He has nothing to do with any of that. Yeah, I think that's Absolutely horrible. nothing. I think that's horrible what you said. You and you're using the Bible to spread hate amongst people and yeah. to treat people like they're second-class citizens. That's not what the Bible's all about. Yeah. I mean, you need to recap the Ten Commandments. I mean, what you did was totally, it, it was anti-Bible. It was anti-Christianity. Yeah, but God made the vaccine. <clears throat> I don't think God made that. I think, I ain't going to, uh, it probably was, the, uh, uh, I can't even go there either. Uh, Y'all know what I'm saying. Yeah. The mark of the, I can't even say Yeah, uh, You can't go there. Don't go Just there. Just play fill in the blank over here. Yeah, don't go there. I ain't saying it's that. Yeah. But I ain't taking it. Yeah, I, would, yeah, I wouldn't say it. Just stay away from me, man. <laughs> you stand in front of a church. Man. That's a church. You isn't giving a damn sermon about the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you crazy as hell. Then she got, for some reason, they got on, like, uh, racism and stuff. And I'm like, yeah. Well, she's a you, Democrat. You a perfect Democrat. Like, um, like, like California just now permanently is mail-in ballots in that state. Yeah. I mean, there's some patriots that live in California and New York. They don't live in L.A.? I mean, they live in the rural areas. States. I was like, I, I, I really don't know how y'all do it. Like, when, soon as I, when I lived in California, as soon as I was in a financial uh, position mm-hmm. to move from that state, I got the hell out of there. Yeah, that place is. I mean, that's that, this, these places are doomed because this woman, she's the, she's not smart. Just listen to her talk five minutes. You know, this, this is a brain dead bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we talking here. She don't know nothing about what that Bible stands for. She pretend like she do. She up in church. <laughs> then she's bringing up racism. And, yeah. and, and, and for some reason, when white person say I'm against racism, oh, man, it's, they're yeah. going to save us. This white woman's going to save us. She's going to get rid of all the racism. I'm going to go get that damn vaccine <laughs> right now. You're supposed to honor thy neighbors, thyself, man. That's not how it goes, Kevin. It's something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Love thy neighbors thyself. What, you think you better than me or something? <laughs> That's exactly what I said in my own words. <laughs> you just plagiarizing yourself. <laughs> no, I, are you plagiarized? No, I ain't. Plagiarizing when you steal something from from a source, you just stole that. Man, whatever. That ain't, you, you have to put the source. Who said that? God said that. You didn't say that. <laughs> That's why I put in my own words. I didn't want to plagiarize myself. Yeah, you didn't want to pull a Joe Biden. <laughs> He's got history of that, plagiarizing people, taking their speeches. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Ran, yeah, he ran for president before. This is like his third time running for president. He ran for president one time. He was doing that, and he had the cops, oh, uh, 
I thought it was a great speech, so I said it. <laughs> I forgot to give him credit for it. <laughs> he up there talking like that. This was he. How he thinks. Anybody but, that supports Joe Biden, Democrats, you just got to be one of the most stupidest people on this planet, man. After the seeing the sending hearings about, about was Smiley, uh, Miley, whatever that fool's name, that woke ass general we got, <laughs> they yeah. lie and cover, and Biden has lied over, over, and over, and over. That dude is just lying constantly, and y'all call Trump a hypothetical. Uh, calling him a liar. Yeah. And everybody's covering for Trump. And, and that's what they're doing for Biden. Yeah. I mean, y'all, no, seriously, y'all are not like, you're not smart people. I mean, I'm conservative, I'm Republican, but I don't believe everything that these Republican fools tell me. But yeah. y'all, y'all was, y'all believe everything those liberal pieces of shit, scumbag, low down, dirty. Hey, calm down. Take it easy. They people too. You remember the Bible. Yeah, on a vibe, neighbors thyself. That's how it goes, right? That's how it goes, man. How it goes, man. Love thy neighbors thyself. Same thing. Same thing. I just put some soul in it. I put some Southern Negro in there. Yeah, like I'll give you a perfect example of my brothers talk about when Trump was in office. Yeah. Oh, I ain't taking that vaccine. That's Trump's vaccine. I ain't taking that. I ain't taking <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Trump's out of office. Like even Kamala Harris. Oh, I ain't taking that. No, I ain't yeah. taking that. That's Trump's vaccine. All of them were saying that. Yeah. Even the people on Twitter. You know, yeah. that's a liberal shithole Jack created over there, right? Yeah. Everybody's saying over there on Twitter, I ain't taking that's Trump's vaccine. Yeah. Biden's in the office, get the vaccine. Yes, I'm taking the vaccine. Look, yeah. I took mine today. Look, I'm taking a picture. Hey, uh, to all the liberals out there that take that vaccine, that's Trump's vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> His administration came up with it. It was, it was that plan. Yeah. I mean, I'm a Trump supporter. They sat back I, and said it, he can't do it. That fast. There's no way in hell he's going to be able to get yeah. a vaccine. And then when the vaccine was coming, oh, I ain't taking that. It's Trump's yeah. vaccine. And when he was running for president, they knew that damn vaccine was damn near ready. Yeah. They didn't mention it till after the election because they, they didn't want to give him credit for that. Yeah. But that's Trump's vaccine. That, yeah. And you know what? If it's any uh, consolation, if after y'all take that vaccine and y'all have start having some crazy-ass side effects, like a damn third arm growing out your, your butthole or something— but you having a third, are you having a second tongue grow in your mouth? You can blame Trump for that shit. Because <laughs> it's his vaccine. <laughs> you got a way out is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that damn Trump, he got me, man. I ain't man. taking that. And I ain't taking that just because Trump's administration. I'm just not taking it. Yeah. It's not a vaccine, technically. It doesn't well, give they, you immunity. They actually changed the definition of vaccine, so now it is a vaccine. Yeah, but it doesn't give you immunity. How can it be a vaccine? Yeah. If it gives, if it doesn't give you immunity, how can it be a vaccine? You should just call it a shot, like the flu shot. How many of y'all went out and got the flu shot and got the flu? Usually you get it the next day after you get the flu shot. <laughs> That's how it worked with me. It's just a shot. In it's short, a shot. man. In short, it's man. It's a prophylactic is what I'm saying. Yeah. I she, guess that's the word you use. She was using that Bible during that little Antichrist sermon of hers to divide one and every, everybody. You're supposed to use the Bible to bring everybody together and to love one another. Yeah. It's, instead, you just... You just a you just a piece of shit, lady. You you the Antichrist. You're gonna burn in hell for that one. <laughs> oh, Mike Lindell, true patriot, he needs our help. Here's a man who started from nothing, built a great company, great products. I mean, you can buy pillows, towels, you can even buy some stuff for your pets, for your dog. I'm buying some stuff for my dog, Milo, and Ruby. We support people that have a great product and supports our country. Yeah. And they support freedom of speech. Yeah, I don't I don't support companies that's Yeah. Just that don't support this country. Yeah. I don't support companies that don't value other people's opinions. And the left is trying to destroy this man because he has a different opinion. Yeah. Just it, because he supported the yeah. president of yeah. the United States. So go to his website now. Yeah. Right? Use discount code Hogs Twins. Yeah. Get a huge discount. And you'll be supporting a patriot. Yeah. Don't forget, go to officialhorsetwins.com. Go to the Fight Censorship tab, hit the links, follow us on Telegram, follow us on Rumble, and follow us on YouTube. They haven't censored us there yet. Yeah, they're actually being fair. Yeah. Go to officialhorsetwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.